Moinsen, schön, dass du reingesäppt hast. Äh, ich gucke mir heute mal Rennsport an. Der gute Dan Suzuki hatte schon die Möglichkeit, da mal in so ein Early-Alpha-Bild reinzugucken. Da habe ich mir mal die ein oder andere Sekunde von gegönnert. Schaust dir doch einfach mit mir gemeinsam an. Intro ab. So, wir gucken uns hier erstmal kurz bei Dan äh, Rennsport an. Raw Impressions. Rennsport, äh, neuer Player auf dem Sim Racing Markt. Let's go. Yeah, welcome to today's video. Sorry for the lack of content in the last weeks. I got COVID and I uh, got really sick from it. I'm still not 100%. Dan, bevor es losgeht, gute Besserung. And there yet. Still feel like I have the fitness of an 80 year old, but uh, yeah. Exciting news for today. I'm allowed to show a little bit of the game. And I thought we'll just do a very raw first impression kind of video for this, where I'll show you the menu a little bit. We'll drive a few laps. There's there's only practice in, in there so far. No AI or no... Well, there is multiplayer, but there are no servers right now. Um, but yeah, I think we'll just start quickly with the, with the menus here. So uh, audio, the usual settings here that you see in all the other games I, I left everything on default for video one interesting thing there's the lss in here with uh, the presets um, on this machine i don't need it there's no triple screen support in the game right now you can stretch it to the full size using simple runtime window editor for example or if you use nvidia surround um, but there's not the three viewports that you need to get proper triple rendering so it at the moment it works like in the f1 game but i'm sure um, once the game is out, they will support triple screen. Um, but yeah, these are the settings that I'm using. Uh, everything on the Epic preset for maximum details. This is an alpha build or beta, I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. Closed alpha, the word there, there it says it. Uh, so performance most likely will not be as good as in the release. Um, but at least on a single screen with the Epic preset on this machine, it runs perfectly fine. Um, I mean, this is a 4090 and a 13900K, so it, well, it probably doesn't really get better than that, but for an alpha build, it runs well. Um, rendering project, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what this is. It does some weird warping to the image, maybe for curved screens. I, I don't really know what, it, what it's doing. Um, then you can adjust the mirror FPS, the rendering distance, resolution, stuff like that. You can have mirrors of the car and virtual mirror enabled and disabled individually. That's great. You can't do that on ACC. Doch, kann man? Oder? Warte mal. Doch, den kannst du doch ausmachen. Man kann doch den virtuellen Spiegel ausmachen. In der ACC. Ich habe da auch keinen. Oder bin ich jetzt doof? Doch, man kann ihn doch ausmachen. Um, Gameplay, well, I enabled most of the um, overlays. There's also a, a radar. Da müssen wir nachher mal gucken. Also, ich möchte Dan da jetzt nicht widersprechen. Äh, Möchte ich nicht. Wir, wir gucken gleich mal nach. Ich bin mir relativ sicher, man kann ihn ausmachen. That works very well. I would say it's comparable to the ACC radar. We have done multiplayer tests here, um, where there were other cars on track, um, where I could see the radar working, and it worked really well. I think more sim racing titles should um, have the radar because not everybody can afford to run triples, and it just helps a lot. On a single screen, you have no idea what's going on around you if you don't use, like, look left or right buttons. Um, I, and I think a radar helps a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, the assists... We will drive a GT3, so this doesn't matter. And then controls is a very... There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't even know what this is all doing. But basically, the calibration is very similar to iRacing. You assign the axis and then you do this calibrate thing. I mean, we can quickly go through it here. Yeah, I, everybody that knows iRacing knows what's going on here. Um, same for the pedals. I'm using the Augury AP121, I think is the name, pedals right now. Um, 
Yeah, and then you can adjust sensitivity. The dead zones, I, I don't think the dead zones actually work, but it's an early build, so whatever. I just added the dead zones in uh, the pedal software. Um, but yeah, I haven't messed with the other ones. Bindings, standard stuff in here. Force feedback, we are running 60%. Viel mehr scrollen ist da nicht, ne? Okay. Once bindings, standard stuff in here. Force feedback, we are running 60%. Filter set to 2. I don't know what key aliases are. Um, but yeah, that's the menu. I would say we hop into a session quickly. Nee, das geht nicht, Knuddel, nee. We are gonna use the Audi GT3. That's the new car that Rennsport today uh, showed on their socials. Um, there's not a lot of stuff that you can do here yet. Um, there will be AI drivers in the later version. Um, and then here, you can adjust tire wear. We'll, we'll just leave this on one fuel. Um, and there's not a lot of stuff that I can change here right now. I can change the duration and I think that's pretty much it. Hey, Mo. Um, but like I said, it's an, it's an early version. It's the first version we are allowed to show. Um, so I would say we just hop onto the track and then we'll have a look. Ooh. Ein sehr schöner Ladescreen. Ooh. Look, loading times. Very nice. Super quick. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not fit yet, but whatever. But I would say we don't have sound. I would say we don't have sound. Great. Wait, I muted it. That's probably the reason. And we have sound. It helps to unmute. So, this is how the car sounds. Das klingt sogar noch realistischer als uh, okay. You can toggle through the dashes. There's the the dark mode dash. Nice. I think setup screen is not unlocked yet, or I don't know how to enter it. It's probably a fixed setup for now, which is fine. Then we have different camera views. Oh, we can see inside of the pits. <laughs> finde ich übrigens sehr gut. Das kann ACC nicht. Also finde ich total toll, dass das geht. And some more here. What's funny is there's no driver in the car. But whatever. Like I said, early build. This is fine. This is a, probably a rear view. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I think we will just drive a little bit. You can see here on, on the right side, it's it's a very fresh build from today. <coughs> Um, and off we go. Okay. Like I said, this is a very raw first impression. I just set up everything. I haven't really driven. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Ah oh yeah, the, the bug from the earlier versions of the Alpha is still in here, like if you go on the curbs. The sound is slightly delayed, um, but whatever, I don't know where to break. What do you think of the, of the visuals of the game? Let me know in the, in the comments down below. I think it's a bit dünn. Optisch. Ich weiß nicht, wie ich das beschreiben soll. Himmel schön, der Rest so sieht ein bisschen dünn aus. Cockpit schön, aber so der mittlere Teil des, des Spiels ist... Das kann aber auch durch das Video kommen. Ne? Also es sieht so ein bisschen, äh, wie soll ich sagen, fad aus. I like what I'm seeing. Um It's interesting if you if you look at the shadows, it's doing the same thing as ACC where they would only like some of them see, 
would only render like five meters in front of your car. I wonder if that's an Unreal Engine thing. Because ACC uses the Unreal Engine 4, and I think this uses the Unreal Engine uh, 5. But it's still both as Unreal Engine. Car feels a little bit bumpy, but that could just also be uh, the baseline setup. Or it's it's the fact uh, this default cockpit view also definitely is ACC, where it will not really move. Uh, the cockpit is like fixed, and the whole environment is, is like shaking. Not particularly a big fan of this, to be honest. Let's see if there's another view, maybe. No, this is fixed as well. Oh. Oh, uh, this is F1 Esports view. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. Um, Gran Turismo in here as well. Oh, interesting. These artifacts you see here. You also get that on ACC. That must be all Unreal Engine things. But I said it before. Keep in mind, this is a very early build. This is the first yeah. build we are allowed to show on YouTube. And don't don't be like, okay, uh, there's something wrong in this early build. The game is shit. <clears throat> it's an alpha build, so yeah. Ich finde das Getriebe ganz komisch, dass der Motor immer aussetzt beim Schalten. Performance, like I said, we are at 150-ish FPS here. It's fine. Could be better, could be worse. This is on the on the highest preset. <coughs> the force feedback feels very detailed. You can feel like everything on the curbs here, for example. Ich denke auch nicht, dass das fertig ist. Also, das ist kein, kein also wie Dan schon sagt, das ist kein Vorwurf. Ähm, das ist ja nur das, was man, was man sieht und wahrnimmt. Ne? Also von Alpha bis, äh, bis Ende, also da kommt ja noch eine ganze Menge. Also das soll jetzt nicht heißen, dass das irgendwie scheiße ist oder, ne? das, also es ist halt das, was einem auffällt nach viel Fahren. Aber so grundsätzlich finde ich den Sound vom Audi hier besser. Hört sich äh, realistischer. When you break on a curb, the car gets oh, penalty. When you break on a curb, the car slightly gets sucked into it. I don't know if that is realistic or not. It's not super distracting or anything. It's just uh, different to iRacing, for example. I do like the sound. Again, I don't really know how the Audi R8 sounds in real life. But it sounds fun in the game. Yeah, da möchte ich dir recht geben. Oh god, this, this uh, setup is so freaking understeery. So freaking understeery. Too bad we don't have access to the setup screen yet. Hey, Kuman, moin! And I think there's also something a little off with the uh, steering sensitivity. Um, it feels like I have... I, I don't know if GT3 cars have like a completely linear steering. But it feels like I need to turn too much for small steering angle. Das sieht auch nicht passig aus mit dem Bild in game, finde ich. Also das ist nicht ident. Maybe I need to up the sensitivity a little bit. Naja, vielleicht doch. Wow, my laptops are well.
Was ich halt richtig krass finde gerade, dass kein Untersteuern, kein Übersteuern, nichts. Also, also entweder ist das wirklich super, super safe, das äh, Setup, oder das sowas ist noch nicht drin. Traction Control drin. Let's actually try if this game simulates flat spots. ABS, where's ABS? Here, let's turn off ABS. Now do a... Um, I lock up the tires. Did I lock up the tires? I okay, davon hat man auch gar nichts gehört, dass er gerade rutscht oder sonstiges dergleichen. Es geht nur auf einen Reifen aktuell. I should. Oh yeah. Oh, there are flat spots in the game. <laughs> okay. I guess okay. the the rear view you, you can see it here in the steering wheel. I guess the rear view steer uh, the rear view the rear view mirror does not show smoke, so I didn't know if I locked up. Oh God. Oha. Okay. Yeah. Well, flat spots are in the game. That's good. I think there are sim racing titles out there that are really really old by now and still don't have flat. Sp <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, uh, I won't be able <laughs> to drive with these tires anymore. Oh, that's but I would say, I, I mean, Audi, nice. Oh. But why would you drive an Audi when there's a Porsche, right? So let's quickly hop into the Porsche. Okay, the game doesn't pause when you go into the menu, that's interesting. Um, BMW, meh, Porsche, there we go. Uh, okay, jetzt bin ich gespannt. RS1. I don't know what that is. Let's have a look and how that car sounds like. Okay. Uh, go on track. Oh yeah, it sounds like a Porsche. Do we have different dashes here as well? Yes, we do. Uh, um, apparently the FOV is per car. Where do you change that gameplay? Yeah. What is in here? Oh wait, that was, okay. Um, yeah, I can show you this, this projection correction. I think 69 was accurate. Nice. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Das gefällt mir nicht. Also ich würde mir lieber so ein clicky Zeug wünschen, um einzelne Zahlen durchzumachen, als ein Schieberegler oder beides. Oh, wait. We can, we can... We can do F1 eSports view here. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, let's <laughs> let's stop with that. Zero, zero. Distance maybe slightly to the back. Okay, that seems nice. Um, yeah, oder zum Eingeben. Das wäre auch geil. Ja. Pfeiltaste würde auch gehen. Yeah, this is what the projection correction is doing. To be honest with you, yeah, that's a curve, think I. I don't know what this should be. Feels like a fisheye effect. But whatever. Let's drive. <coughs> okay, the sound is erstmal also, also super unangenehm, find ich. Oh, lights work. <coughs> Do I have wipers? I don't know if I have wipers. Okay, the, the flashing. Thing is also just like the light, but as a momentary, not as a toggle. Okay, the Porsche is ja sehr unangenehm. Oh, the Porsche feels more alive. <coughs> Oh, can this, this one break, break much later? Wait, traction control. Uh, well, if only I knew how these work. Oh, the setup is also much better. You see it actually turns. This proves Porsche clearly superior than Audi. Wait, isn't it actually like the same company anyways? Like. Ich glaube nicht mehr. I feel like everything is is VW. Mm. 
Fettle Corner. <clears throat> oh, my voice still sounds funny, I think. Sorry about that. Nee, also tut mir wirklich wahnsinnig leid, aber der Porsche geht gar nicht. <lacht> der geht überhaupt nicht. The Porsche also doesn't feel like the steering sensitivity feels off. Might be just a, a thing of the early version of the Audi. Oh. Oops. Horse feedback really feels nice for, for such an early version. Aber hier hat er beim Runterschalten hat er nicht so eine Aussetzer wie der Audi. Aber hey! The Skybox looks a bit lame, but <laughs> that will probably be changed as well. Alter, dieses Geklicker denn, ne? Oh. <laughs> Oh. Ja, wir gucken gerade Rennsport, äh, die, das Alpha-Bild. Also das ist eine neue, neue Sim. In terms of driving, if I had to pick one game this reminds me of. It kind of feels like a little higher fidelity version in terms of force feedback as well, uh, at least, uh, of iRacing. How the car behaves on track. I mean, it's super, super early and it's, it's kind of hard to really get a good impression, you know. But... It reminds me the most of Which all the games that I have tried a cry. of iRacing, I would say. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay. Just less grip. Yeah, I, I personally I think the Porsche is much more fun to drive than the Audi, but that's probably mostly because it actually turns. And the Audi probably just has a really bad default setup. I've tried the earlier builds as well and this is definitely a nice improvement in terms of how the car feels like. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, when I got the first build, the one that was used on the Summit, I think, I thought the force feedback is actually broken because it felt so freaking weird. Um, but this feels good now. Hmm, okay. Also it gives a positive <coughs> Oh, no penalty for that. Interesting. Vor allen Dingen mit einem Porsche über so eine Curb rüber? Moment, Moment, Moment. Mick Schumacher would like to have a word. Oh shit. <laughs> no. Oh. Did we lock up? No, I don't think so. ABS on three. It also has this weird uh, artifacting on the back. What other views do we have in here? Oh, nice reflections on that on that dash. Oh, krass, that's really schön. Also, no driver in the car. Spacecraft. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. 
Also mit dem Sound kann ich mich wirklich nicht anfreunden. Uh, oh, we do have smoke in the game. <laughs> you see these things on the left side popping up in front of the car? It kind of like ACC. Yeah. <coughs> We need like, oh, I got a flat spot from that. We need like real head motion for this. I'm not a big fan of the, when the cockpit is so freaking static and doesn't shake a lot. I think the car should shake and not the environment because your eye actually compensates for that automatically. Your inner ear actually, like the, the organ in your ear for, for balancing and everything is directly connected to your eyes and in real life it will automatically adjust the eye movement and therefore it's it feels more natural let's see if there are pit stops in this wait uh, pit menu fuel to add change tires oh can I can I adjust let's see if this works what the hell is there no minimum tire pressure? One. Let's let's see if it changes the tires. <coughs> can I? I can. Okay, das ist wichtig und richtig. Okay. Ooh, we have we have a pit. That looks scary. I mean, it's Halloween, but. <laughs> Will they do anything? They will. Nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> ich finde das schön, dass die Box da drin ist. That actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, apart from that they kind of look a bit scary. <laughs> will I now have 1.1 bar in the front left? Ich finde schön, dass er die ganze Zeit den Reifen in der Hand hat. <laughs> <laughs> Tschö! Uh, what are they doing now? Refueling? Yes. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. now I have 1.1 bar. Nice. That actually makes me wanna... Oh my god. Let's see if... Lowest... Oh my god, what is... GT3. I know from ACC, 27.5 PSI. Are these the Michelin tires as well? Yeah. Michelin, yes. What is 27.5 PSI in bar? 1.9 hot pressures. Oh, okay, interesting. Ah, whatever. We'll just, well, let's just try minimum pressures here. <laughs> I want to see how that feels like. I'm just playing around a bit. Interesting. The rear tires have a lower... Can I reverse into the pits? Or do I need to do a new... Uh, Oh, the, the, the box is gone, though. I, I think this probably won't work. I yeah, nee. probably need to do another lap. Yeah. Oh, there are no penalties, I think, for speeding into in the pits. What is this? <laughs> Nichts. What car is this? That looks fancy. Do we get a better view? Some Here. Was um, steht da vorne drauf? EX? X. Oh. I don't know what this is. But it kind of looks fancy. I want to drive this. This looks like fun to drive. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Dad. Whew. Let's see if it drives funny now with the front left at 1.1 bar and the front right at 1.7. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> it drives funny now. Hey, jetzt bin ich mal gespannt beim Anbremsen. Oh, er schiebt nach links. Ja. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, honestly, I, th 
think that's probably it for my very raw first impressions so far. I think for build that early, the game is actually in a good state. Um, they definitely improved the force feedback a lot from the from the earlier builds. It feels like it makes a lot more sense now. Um, I like this. Oh my god, it feels so weird now. Um, I like the sound. There are no reflections from from the walls or anything like on ACC, so I don't think it's at that level yet. Who knows how this will develop? Um, and yeah, I mean visually, it's it does not have this this little muddiness in the distance like ACC. I was a bit like when I heard Unreal Engine. I mean, ACC can look great, but it also can be a little bit blurry in the distance, especially. Um, so I was a bit, okay, let's hope this will be better. And I don't think it is as sharp in the distance as something like like Assetto Corsa, the regular one, or R-Factor, or iRacing. But it's definitely not the same as ACC. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's, I'll show you how it looks like when we stretch it to the triple screens, if I can find my simple runtime window editor, there we go. Benchboard, open, load profile, that did not work, that worked. Okay, now we need to adjust the FOV though. Uh, shit, where was that gameplay? Yeah, something like this. But the problem is the sides just look super stretched now. Yeah. Um, are we still like in the pit stop? No. We do have... They didn't change the tires, no. Oh, whatever. So it works, but it's stretched on the sides. You can see it on the, on the, yeah, on the good, face cam. On the right I mean, if it's not inside, then... It's yeah. side, but yeah. Performance is still... Well, we're running 65 FPS now. This is on 1440p triples. Um, but honestly, like triple screen like this is kind of useless anyways. <coughs> so we will have to wait until they properly implement triple yeah. screen rendering. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the first impression video. Okay, cool. Um, if you want to see something specific, something you would love to see from the early build, leave a comment down below. I will uh, I will do more content of Benchboard with new releases and everything. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe give it a like and subscribe to the channel to not miss any other videos, any further videos. And yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thanks, Dan. Gute Besserung. Erstmal ein Like drauf smashen, Junge. Okay. Hey Mensch, schön, dass du äh, bis hierhin äh, geschafft hast. Freut mich sehr. Lass doch mal ein Däumchen da, schreib vielleicht noch einen Kommentar dazu oder mach ein Däumchen runter. Abonnier den Kanal, hämmer die Glocke an und dann sehen wir uns beim nächsten Video. Bis dann. Tschüss.